It is amazing the difference a little paint, new hardware, and elbow grease, lots of elbow grease, can do to make your old RV look awesome. But is it enough to pass the 10 year rule? Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Morlene. I'm Gary. <laughs> We have been living in our 2000 Jayco Eagle fifth wheel for the last six, over six years. We're on our seventh year now at full time. We started out in 2017 and every year we make improvements. We've done all kinds of things to it. A lot of elbow grease, Lots. a lot of Gary's elbow grease mostly. <laughs> um, I just tell them what we need to do. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not easy by the way yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just always making improvements every summer when we're back to Wisconsin and one of the things we're running into is the 10-year rule if you don't know what that is a lot of RV parks now are making it kind of a rule that your your RV cannot be more than 10 years old ours is 23 24 now I guess if they go by the fact that they're bringing out the 24s already. And so we need to keep her looking good. And this winter, Gary is going to be serving a congregation in Texas again. We're going to tell you where that is later in another video. So make sure you subscribe to find out. And have what we've done this last summer. Is it enough? We'll show you what we've done. Getting ready to do some more sprucing up. It has been about four years since we painted this, three, four years. And we're gonna paint it, freshen it up with something just a wee bit more red, a little less orange. Couldn't find exactly the color I wanted, but this is good, that's good. We'll be happy. And we're only gonna need this little tiny size. What is this, what do they call this? Sample, Sample size. It's like five dollars and something. It's not very expensive, and it's from uh, Bear Marquee Indoor Outdoor. So that's good, and then that'll be enough to do the door and or the little bay on the other side. It got a few little nicks on it in different places, and we didn't have any left to touch it up. So we'll take care of that. The little green bays are okay. And we're going to touch up the black like we almost do almost every year. We're going to touch that up. Probably this one too. Here's the other little red door. And this one's been getting more sun than the other side. And then I painted these. Because we couldn't find replacements for any of them. So we painted those white and painted this one white and it matches this one. So we're good to go on that. Okay, it's wet. It's going to be a little different, but it does look like it's going to be a little bit darker. And that's what I wanted. A little redder? A little redder. A little darker, a little redder, less orangey. Wow. Not asking for much. <laughs> This is a really high-tech job here. <laughs> While I was painting the door, Gary is uh, going to remove these yellow things here. And some of them were broken or cracked. They hold these little bay doors up. He's going to take that up and he's got to scrape all the caulk off that's underneath it. And then he will put the new one on. I'll show you the ones he already did. This is one of the new ones. That looks so much better. And this is why you're gonna need caulk in there, otherwise moisture can get into those little holes and do all kinds of damage. So Gary's doing a putty. Pretty putty. Pretty putty? That was <laughs> is that what it's called? Pretty no. putty? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. 
No, not, not at all. And you just push that on there and, and then put the screws through it? Pretty much. Okay. Oh, it even lines up. That's even better. Yeah. I'm telling you, we are going to make this baby sparkle. Okay, these little hubcaps, they're just made out of a, a hard plastic. And Gary's just going to, after we've had the tires and everything all checked and the bra brakes and everything taken care of and, and had the bearings repacked, it got kind of yucky. So Gary's going to clean that up. And then on both sides, of course, and then just making those shiny again. People are going to need sunglasses when they look at our RV when she's all done. Another thing we're going to spruce up is my little flower pot. It's really faded bad. And so I cleaned it up and I put some vinegar, wiped it down with vinegar. And I'm going to paint with what little bit is left of this red paint. And I'm going to use a little bit of this blue that's left uh, from when we did our palette deck. Well, the little pot is done. I think it turned out pretty cute. Nice, fresh little color. And as long as we're changing out the other things, we're going to change this out too. Everything will look... Whoops, you're dark. Where's your light? There you are. <laughs> so everything will match. Pretty much. Sort of. Yeah. It'll be nice. It will. It will look new. Oof. Yes. That looks nice. I like how it's got kind of like a coppery look to it on the edges like that. That's kind of pretty. Yeah. Yeah. In the bathroom, this is another thing I never gave any second thought to. This is a, a towel holder, little plastic thing, and I think this is plastic too, and that's really icky bad. We got a new hook that we're going to put on that's going to be in the old red bronze to match the other hardware. Well, I got this off and realized that this mirror is a door that never hits this. It always went above it. The new one is going to get hit with this. Great. Shoot. <laughs> this is that towel bar. You see how it's just kind of, kind of gotten corroded and lost its color. I'm going to attempt to paint it. And it'll be like the hardware. I bought these acrylic paints to paint rocks, which I have not gotten around to doing yet. And I've decided I'm going to try doing the dark brown and just a little bit of black in it to make it look like the oil rub bronze. Okay, here's the after. It took several times of just tapping it with the brush and then I still see silver showing through. I started using some cotton swabs just to fill in the, some of the spots and that seems to have made it pretty good. I don't... I think it's gonna work. We're gonna... Well, oh, there's one little tiny spot. See that? Ah. But we're gonna spray it with some clear coat tomorrow when it's dry. And that one little tiny spot is not going to... It's gonna bug me. <laughs> I'm going to fill it in right now. This is the finished product. It has been, it's had the satin coat finish, clear coat, 
and I added that little bit of a copper look to it, or the, I guess the bra brass, because all the hardware has that, and I wanted it to match. I think it turned out pretty good. We did the cabinets, the cabinet handles, because the paint didn't hold up. And we never painted these. It's gold. We only have two doorknobs in the whole place. One on this little, the little um, closet when you first walk in, and the other is in the bathroom. So we're going to take these off and replace these two because they're all corroded and icky. And can you see that? See how bad that is? So we got new door handles. See that little hint of a brass look to it on the doorknobs and it's on all the handles too. I was working at the table here and I realized, and I don't know why I didn't notice this before, but this little lamp that my niece gave me has that oil rub bronze look and it has that little, that little coppery or brass <laughs> whatever trim on it too. <laughs> How cool is that? This is kind of archaic, but this is our speaker system, part of the speaker system, which we have no more. And they're grungy and yellow compared to the rest of the ceiling. We're going to paint them. We have four of them. This is the air conditioner filter, and that is also really yellowed compared to the rest of the ceiling. So that's going to be spray painted too. Oh, the bottle is in the garage? Yes. Okay. This is a uh, wash and wax thing that washes and it waxes at the same time and the brand is it's called wash and wax cleaner it's made for RVs and it's by Camco the brush Gary was using is very soft and which is good you don't want to scratch anything but it wasn't getting into the little grooves of the aluminum, so we brought some baking soda out, and that seems to be helping a lot, but there is a lot of oxidation going on here, little tiny gray areas that are showing oxidation. I don't know. We're, we were just talking about possibly finding out how much it would cost to paint it. It'd be white, <laughs> but maybe a car finish paint would be... A possibility if it doesn't cost too much then after he's done with that we'll he'll do the wash and wax again and see if that gets the rest of it off I wish I had done a before picture Wow the baking soda really really whitened it up nice Polish? Yeah. New finish. New finish. Best selling. Once a year polish. Yep. Number one. Okay. What did you think of all that? What did you think? Is that enough to get us in? 
We submitted pictures to the RV park that the church recommended we do. Um, they, it, was, it was closest to the church and so we submitted pictures and we're waiting to find out the answer. So you'll have to subscribe for that to find out what they tell us and if we need to come up with a plan B. Yeah, I will put a link at the end of this video. There will be a link to a playlist of all the things we've done to our RV in the last six and a half years. There's a lot. <laughs> what do you think about the 10 year rule? Do you think it's right that some RV parks are having this rule? And um, do you think it's that they should make exceptions? You know, depending on how the RV looks? Let us know in the comments down below. Have you ever encountered that problem? Let us know that too. Subscribe to find out what our fate is <laughs> on if we're accepted into the park or not. And ring the bell to be notified every time new videos come up. And until next time, God, God bless. bless.